Hey guys, how's it going? It's John from the Reaper blog. In this video, I want to show you some presets for Reverbate that I made. It's one of the stock plugins with Reaper. It's a crappy sounding reverb, but I found some ways to make it sound cool, and I want to share a bunch of presets with you. Uh, you'll have to sign up for my email newsletter. I only email a couple times a month, but I include some free stuff to make it worth your while. And let's get into this. Super simple plugin, wet, dry controls. So wet is the output of the reverb, dry is the, the direct sound, the sound that's coming into it. Uh, you usually want to turn this down because you're having this reverb on its own track. Room size is kind of how big that room is. Damping, dampening, it should be damping, but dampening is how much um, absorptive materials are in this space. A low dampening value is uh, s lots of sound scattering around and um, not being absorbed, and a high value is a more dense sound with more high frequency reduction. Stereo width goes from minus one to plus one. So plus one is default value. It's going to match the panning of whatever you send into it. Uh, if you set it to zero, that's mono. And if you set this to minus one, that reverses the panning, uh, which can be a really cool effect. Initial delay is your pre-delay value. Uh, there's a delay before the reverb starts. So if you had this dry value up, the sound would come in, you'd hear it, and then it would wait for this long, and then you'd hear the reverb come after that. Low pass filter is uh, cutting the highs out of the reverb signal, and high pass is the lows being cut from the reverb signal. So I have a bunch of samples loaded up in here, and I have a list of presets that I've made up that um, will complement these various sounds. This is a like moody acoustic guitar, like really slowly played. Here we go. I'll bring in the reverb now. Super moody and dramatic sound. I love it. Okay, what else works on acoustic guitar? I've got this preset called Splashy, which is pretty weird. And another called Hazy, which is kind of, instead of that one being super bright and splashy, this is dark and muted. So it really just like makes a, a pad sound underneath it. Another one that works well on acoustic is Distant Thunder. And it's sort of similar to those previous ones where it's really long and uh, dramatic sounding. And the last one I want to show you for acoustic guitar is Dark Ambience. So that one has a lot of mid-range, kind of band passed here, and there's a long initial delay. So 106 milliseconds, that's like a quarter note or a half note, depending on the song. Let's jump over to electric guitar. This is another slowly played guitar part and it has two delays on it and just a amp. There's no reverb, no room tone, nothing else going on in here really. So I've got the reverb track muted. We're just going to hear the electric guitar. So now let's hear it with this dark ambience preset. So it really makes the guitars like sustain forever. And another one that's cool is Average Room. And 
And that one you don't really notice until you take it away. I've got some other presets, like the hazy one, the um, splashy, and the distant thunder ones. They work better for like uh, swelled guitar effects. Maybe I'll just take this and reverse it. So you can hear how that sounds with like the hazy. So I think you get the idea. Let's move on to snare. On my drum tracks, I've got Easy Drummer. I've got some sends set up here. So uh, snare top. I just solo this. So that's the average room without anything with it. Small room. And big snare. I think that one sounds pretty good. Certainly usable in a mix. Kick, I don't use reverbs on kicks very often, but you know, for certain styles of music, it works. Uh, retro sounding stuff is pretty popular right now. Things like this, crappy sounding reverbs work really well. So here's uh, the big snare preset for kick. And average room is the other one that I thought worked pretty well. Really short, kind of like a non-linear sounding reverb. But you can use these other really long um, reverbs on low frequency sounds like this as well. For special effects. So like hazy might work cool. thunder and rumble and stuff that's pretty cool but it doesn't work with a drum beat so you have to be careful with it use it for sound design print the effects and then layer it in that sort of thing finally let's look at overheads let me just get this beat for me i think the overheads sound good with the small room or the average room Here's the average room. So I wanted to share these starting points with you. Sign up for my email newsletter. There's a link in the description. Once you sign up, you'll get an email right away with the link to this and many other downloads. Plus, uh, every time I send an update, there'll be a thing in the bottom, a section four downloads on the bottom of the email so you won't miss out. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.